Good morning, everybody. Mike Baki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. What a day yesterday. Um, you know, I was saying in my chat room, if, if there was going to be a day that has the potential to mark the reversal of this market, we will look back at yesterday for a couple of reasons. Um, the bulls, you know, when we talked yesterday, I talked about the critical area of 1659 quarter up through 1665 half that they needed to uh, break through that area and turn that area back into support. And essentially, by breaking through, they really opened the door to go ahead and make new highs over the course of time. That the 33 had been established as support, then the 44s. And that the bulls had left themselves, or the bears rather, had left themselves open uh, to 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 another run at highs. What we saw yesterday for the first time in 2013, I would argue, was the bears defend an area, take that area back, and follow through, and close not on the lows but near the lows. Um, so where where do we go from here? Well, the bears are not out of the woods. Uh, that 33 area, this purple line, the top of this congestion area, this 33 area, has to be taken out, converted, and turned into support. Until that happens, ultimately the ball is still, you know, it's still advantage bulls until the bears can take out 33 and keep it taken out. What we've done in the overnight is essentially come down here and test the middle Bollinger Band. And right now you are seeing a move higher. We're trading as high as 49. Uh, you know, up, up, uh, we were over 50 there for a little bit. So the Bears, you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The Bears cannot take any days off. The Bears cannot take today off. They need to push. I'm not saying they need to break 33 today. I am saying that they need to push back down towards the lower Bollinger Band and they need to keep now the 1660 to 1665 area needs to be off limits. They can't let the bulls sneak back in that area because they will run with it. This will turn into the day after uh, the Cypress announcement. After that big gap down and the bears gave up a little ground and they gave up a little more ground and they gave up a little more and then the bulls just ran them right out of town. The Bears are still in a position where they can get run out of town, without a doubt. And the only thing that's going to keep that from happening is having 1660 as solid, reliable support, getting through the middle band at 40, and going to work on 33. Um, a lot of dip buyers yesterday got caught in the middle of the fray. We got caught in the middle of it um, and and tried to try to grab the, the same dip that you know that we've been trying to grab for you know just about every every trading day and for the first time in a long time it did not work out and there are a lot of people in that boat so the dynamic you will have today rather than um, frightens probably not the word um, skittish or or you know concerned uh, rather than you know jittery or, or skittish uh, top callers, you're going to have skittish or concerned dip buyers. And when things start to move against the skittish or concerned or weak money dip buyer, they're going to get out because they are not going to want to do a repeat of yesterday. Not you know, top callers not wanting to have a repeat of, the, of their of their previous day's trading. That was this entire move. You think there's a lot of fresh buying coming in at 16.20? No, it's it's shorts getting just completely scared out of the market, day after day after day. And now, if the bears can turn that dynamic, what you will see is the dip buyers will get scared out of the market day after day after day. But that's not going to happen until we get through the middle band, and it's absolutely not going to happen until 32 gets converted and turn back into support, or, or resistance rather. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Baki, PrincetonTrader.com. Check out our website. 
uh, check out our chat room. We'd love to have you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.